Well, right now, people are cleaning up this morning after intense thunderstorms and tornadoes swept across the Midwest yesterday, killing at least six people in Illinois and injuring dozens of others. Powerful winds uprooted trees, flipped over vehicles and mobile homes, and flattened buildings. The storm sent people across the region scrambling for shelter and even prompted officials at Chicago's Soldier Field to evacuate the stands and delay the Bears game. Jay Gray reports from Illinois. The devastation is widespread and overwhelming. Within less than a minute, everything started collapsing inside the house. Cracking the sputter and the Next thing we know, it's light inside the house. At least six people are dead, dozens injured after a string of violent storms, including 40 tornadoes or more, ripped across eight states Sunday. Central Illinois took the most severe hit. All of a sudden, the wind really started picking up. When it finally stopped, communities like Washington and New Menden were for the most part wiped away. It's pretty bad as far as uh, people not being able to stay in their home. You know, the roofs are gone, the church steeple is gone, um, some damage on the inside. And yeah, I would say it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> A path of splintered homes and communities leveled by the intense storms stretches from Kentucky through Michigan, where more than 250,000 families were left without power, though they understand. Hundreds of families have lost a lot more. Jay Gray, NBC News, Washington, Illinois. And during the storm and this morning, people are turning to social media. Right now, you're taking a live look at Twitter, where the trending hashtag is Midwest Storms. Witnesses are describing what they saw. News outlets are updating on the latest, and people across the country are using Twitter to send their thoughts and prayers. And again, the trending hashtag is Midwest Storms.